Hello and welcome to another segment of Kone Conversations, a podcast featuring one-on-one interviews with employees and subject matter experts from Kone, a global leader in the elevator and escalator industry. I'm Kevin Metz. On a frequent basis, we'll have the chance to sit down with key players and those behind the scenes and in the field to deliver their unique insights and perspectives from Kone. On this episode, we're joined by Philip Jenkinson, Business Development Manager for the Canadian Prairies for Kone. Philip, welcome. Thanks for joining us from Canada. No worries. Thanks for having me. Excited to have a chat with you today. Absolutely. Thanks for thanks for taking the time. Well, first and foremost, um, we'd love to hear more about your role at Kone. Um, what do, what does your day look like on a on a day in day out? Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's mostly client facing. So I'm out there um, with the uh, clients in my territory discussing you know what's going on with their businesses these days everybody's been challenged so we're meeting virtually a lot um, there is some in-person meetings but very infrequently um, discussing with clients their their pains and finding out how Kone can help no it, it sounds obviously you know experiencing a lot of the same things uh, here in the states but reliability is is something that's on everyone's minds uh, from residential condo uh, dwellers and those in hospitals and healthcare. And eventually when we get back to office buildings um, in, in both countries, how, how are these building owners um, you know, gonna be ensuring reliability with their elevators and escalators, obviously, as they're, they're working harder these days? Yeah, and it's it's a common occurrence in the states as it is in Canada. I, I don't think the conversation's any different. I mean, um, a lot of what we're talking about now, um, it comes back to proper maintenance. Um, it's crucial even for low occupancy buildings. It's not necessarily related the runtime of a piece of equipment to the calls themselves. It might be part of it, but it's not the most important thing. I mean, routine checks are paramount no matter what. And uh, Kone twenty four seven connected services um, is something we're probably going to talk about, but um, it can actually predict issues and we can help address them faster. It actually predicts the issues that may or may not be taking place or how does that work? Yeah, it's the future of um, the way we do maintenance with the equipment we take care of. So Kone 24-7 connected services leverages IoT cloud services to address and predict service needs. Um, so this puts more efficient and effective time on the equipment so the technician can address the situation quicker and more efficiently. Um, so the, the actual visible incidents that the client sees goes down. The elevator won't shut down, nor do they need to call us because we're predicting problems. So this technology, along with an informed uh, call center, you know, it contributes more and more to smooth people flow at all of our clients' properties. So it, it's not a situation where technician shows up on site, um, has to do some diagnosis, um, and then determine what is needed. It, it doesn't all take place on site anymore. You nailed it. Yeah. The IoT cloud based system can monitor the equipment 24 7 and predict issues. So we've moved from a reactive to a proactive now to predictive. So we've actually seen a reduction in calls to about 30%. Universities in Canada have seen these calls and more important number is a first time fix rate, which would mean the technician services the equipment and addresses and solves the problem the first time he gets there, almost by 25%. This is huge. How would you, you know, fully characterize 24, 24-7 connected services helping out um, specifically during this, uh, you know, at time when reliability is critical. Yeah, and that's where things are going. I mean, the the most important fundamental is by just keeping the equipment running, keeping the elevators and escalators um, running efficiently, so we can ensure there's proper people flow. The equipment nowadays is a pinch point in the buildings, and as safety is paramount, so ensuring they're running is huge. Um, improved reliability and safety. Um, is a big one by addressing these hazards as we can now before they happen, um, which is huge. And then when when we when we can't predict them, we're dealing with them even more quicker when they do occur. So uh, it's actually just a small part. Kone's 24/7 connected services is part of our health and well-being solution set. So we we've had a few things we've developed over time uh, and that can help 
clients in many different ways. So I, I guess I would recommend because these things are always being innovative to find out more on the website, Kone.us, real easy. Um, there's tons of solutions there and just stay tuned for things that will definitely help you in your building. Uh, thanks, Philip. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to join us uh, on Kone Conversations, uh, sharing your insights and expertise from Canada. No worries. Make sure everybody's working safe out there. That's great. Well, listeners, be sure to visit, as Philip mentions, Kone.us and our Kone YouTube channel for an archived copy of today's episode of Kone Conversations. And for more information on the Kone solutions, technology, and innovations discussed today, check out our social media channels for more information and upcoming guests of future podcasts. I'm Kevin Metz. Thanks for being here and be sure to tune in again for more Kone Conversations.